Still no closure for relatives of the passengers of MH370, the flight that vanished en route from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing more than four years ago. The tragedy happened on the 8th of March 2014 and massive hunts were launched. The last one has ended today. US-based Ocean Infinity used deep sea vessels to survey a vast area in the southern Indian Ocean and it has come up with no results. What's more, the Malaysian government says it has no plans to begin a new search effort. In any case, official search efforts came to an end last year with no conclusion. No one knows what happened to the aircraft. Malaysia's transport minister says a full report will be published soon, but he's not given a date. Though Australia says the search has tested the limits of technology and experts and people at sea. Australia, Malaysia and China say the search will resume only if there is credible evidence identifying a specific location for the missing aircraft. The only confirmed traces of the plane have been three wing fragments found washed up on Indian Ocean coasts. Here's a look at a timeline of what exactly happened to MH370 or what exactly we know happened. On the 8th of March 2014, the Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 lost contact less than an hour into the flight. On the 15th of March, investigations focus on the Indian Ocean region. In July 2015, debris is found on Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. In January 2017, Australia, Malaysia and China suspend the official search. In January 2018, Ocean Infinity launches search operations. In May 2018, Ocean Infinity's operation has now ended as of today. Malaysia says there's no plan to resume a search. There are dozens of unanswered questions. Why was there no distress signal? Questions have been asked on why no alarm was raised. Was MH370 hijacked? There's no answer to this question as well. And in any case, aircraft now have strengthened flight deck doors to prevent intruders from taking control. Although the possibility of human error in a challenging situation cannot be ruled out. Also, why have satellites not found the debris from MH370? Almost every inch of Earth is covered by satellites and yet the world has failed to locate MH370. In fact, Australia now says the search has tested the limits of technology as well as people at sea. Molly Gambhir now joining us from the Weon newsroom in New Delhi. Uh, Molly, though Australian media had reported that the pilot was possibly on a suicide and murder mission, we still have so many unanswered questions. Certainly, Amitabh, uh, this is the day when the hunt, the official search for that aircraft is ending. But while that search ends, uh, the search for answers definitely does not. Uh, as you pointed out, several conspiracy theories have been doing the round. Several questions uh, still remain unanswered. Uh, one of the most prominent ones is why no distress call was made and also of uh, if uh, there was a hijack that was attempted, why that call wasn't made, and if there is uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the perspective of every inch of the planet that's been covered by uh, satellites, uh, why is it and how is it that no satellite so far has ever uh, been able to, throughout those four years, been able to find a single uh, indication or a trace of what happened to that aircraft. Let's just take a step back and uh, contextualize for our uh, viewers how this is the second hunt uh, for that aircraft. Uh, this is a deal that was signed uh, with uh, the Texas-based uh, seabed exploration firm Ocean Infinity uh, that was signed in January. This was a no-find, no-fee um, uh, contract that was signed with the firm uh, for a period of 90 days. Uh, and today uh, is officially the uh, end of that hunt, at least. The Malaysian government for now says that there will be no plan to resume a search or to launch a, a, a fresh search for that aircraft. This is a four-year-long hunt, Amitabh, that's going on and uh, families and uh, uh, relatives of uh, uh, those on that aircraft. The 239 uh, passengers who were on board that aircraft have been uh, uh, knocking on each and every door to try and understand what really happened to uh, their kin. Let's also uh, remind our viewers that uh, the Malaysian government has assured that a full uh, report will be provided uh, at the uh, end of uh, the uh, 
uh, hunt, which is today. So uh, in a few days from now is when the Malaysian government says a report will be published. No date has been uh, given out for when that report will be made public. But uh, assurance also coming in from the Malaysian Transport Minister specifically that uh, there will be a full disclosure report, uh, all the elements of the search, uh, all that's gone on uh, during the, the uh, last four years will be published as a part of that report. There will be no aspect or no element that will be uh, skipped. That's an, a strong reassurance that's coming in uh, for the family members for whom closure uh, remains uh, uh, a long uh, side away, uh, Amitabh. For the last four years, uh, they've been uh, trying to uh, figure out what actually happened. This is also a search that uh, uh, countries across the world have uh, partnered right from, uh, partnered in, uh, right from the US to China to Australia. Uh, they have uh, joined hands in that earlier search operation as well, uh, which uh, did not yield any results, uh, which then was, uh, uh, which was the point when the family had uh, increased pressure on the Malaysian government to uh, start off another search. And this is when Ocean Infinity, uh, this uh, uh, firm, got uh, into the picture and signed that 90-day deal. But that search as well yielding uh, no results, Amitabh. Molly Gambi reporting from the Weon Newsroom.